Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Today I am filming a Japan beauty haul. Um, I did a general products that I purchased Japan haul um, and then Kat and I did a collective beauty haul on beauty news um, and I've had these bags sitting in my room since we filmed that haul and it like <clears throat> I try to put things away into their like designated home so you know all of my beauty products have their own special spot um, and I actually like I get real like anxiety feeling like I shouldn't be putting these things away until I filmed a haul but I've already done that but I can't get past it so <laughs> I'm filming a haul. Um, I figured if I'm going to sit down and refilm a haul, it may as well be seriously in depth, showing you product close ups and shit like that. So, if you are into watching this, get like a drink and a snack. And I'm sorry, my birds are being really noisy. Start with brushes since they're sitting on top of the first bag that I'm going through, and we'll start with Haku Hodu. So, I didn't go too crazy. I only purchased seven Hakuhodu brushes. Um, where we found a Hakuhodu stand was in a department store and they had a very limited selection. Um, but yeah, I could have easily done a lot more damage. Starting with the smallest brush. I'm actually not sure what this one is called. It's a, it's not numbered on the, um, the handle of the brush but it is a teeny teeny tiny little detail brush I have small eyes so I actually really appreciate small brushes like this I got an eyeshadow brush which is just like a typical paddle brush this is the B004G it's a natural hair um, I'm not sure what it was I think it was goat um, but yeah just a basic paddle brush for the eyes. I got a couple of blending brushes which I also plan on using for highlighting. So the white one is the J5522, again probably goat, and the grey one is not numbered. I really hate it when they do that, um, but I would say that that is a combination of goat and potentially blue squirrel. A really unusual brush that I picked up and I purchased it because I don't own anything like it and I haven't seen anything quite like it. It is a long thin brush that's cut on an angle and extremely like the bristles are really fine like there's not much in there they're not very dense uh, it's the G6070 and I was told that this is great for powder blush so I'm totally gonna give it a go I wouldn't mind playing with it with highlight as well uh, interesting little brush and two other brushes I picked up from Hakuhodu are big like face brushes so I have the B505 there oh my god it's so soft so soft and I also have the S11 uh, 110 this one is from um, I think it's like Hakuhodu's signature range it's like one of their more expensive range um, and it's my first one so there we go exciting the last two brushes I have to show you are from a brand called Kumano, Kumano Feud. I picked these up in Hiroshima. I believe this brand is kind of like you can only find it in Hiroshima and surrounding areas. These brushes are not like numbered or named or anything like that so I can't tell you exactly what they are. But I got a eyeshadow blending brush. So soft. Love it. And just a general... Um, like face powder brush so you could use it for anything from like highlighting to blush bronzer whatever so yeah I'm really down with these handles it's kind of like a metallic matte red oh, gorgeous eyelashes yay um so I think the thing that I loved about eyelashes in Japan is there's lots of brands that's like really small pairs of eyelashes so 
Uh, for me, having small eyes, typically in Australia, if I buy a pair of eyelashes, I have to cut them in half or cut them, like, you know, trim the ends so that they fit on my eyes. And usually it's easier for me to just buy a full bar set of lashes that are like, um, you know, they're the sh same shape on either side and the same density all the way through and then just use them as like um, demi lashes for the outer corners. But there are times when I want to wear a full bar of lashes but it's, it's too hard to find them in Australia. Um, even if you buy a pair and like cut them down to fit, they just don't look right. Um, and in Japan, there was a lot of brands that offered small full bar sets of lashes. So I picked up four packets from brands that do that. The first ones are from, I think it's Mish Blumen. What a cute name. Another brand was uh, Repi. Oh my God, again, these names are so cute. Um, and they're just, you know, synthetic short full bar lashes. I purchased one packet of lashes from a brand called Diamond Lash that is like a large full bar. These ones I will cut in half and use as demi lashes um, and even then they almost look like I could wear them as a full bar lash if I cut them in half. So these ones are really really like wide along the band. Let's talk about some skincare, um, specifically masks. So in Japan, they sell a lot of sheet masks, but they also sell like boxes of masks. So I haven't opened these up yet, but I imagine they're going to be like when you open a packet of uh, like face wipes. Um, so you just like pull out individual masks and then seal it up again. These are from the brand Lululun and these are the anti-aging sheet masks. I know in Japan, um, sheet masks, like the you use them every day basically. It's like part of your daily um, beauty routine. So I'm kind of interested to give that a go and see, you know, what the other ladies are getting up to with their skincare, skincare routine. Um, it's intriguing to me to use a mask every day because it's not something that, you know, we're encouraged to do in Western, you know, beauty routines. A mask is sort of like a treatment that you would do once or twice a week. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm keen to try these, see how they they go with my skin. You never know. I might um I might be completely changing up my routine. Who knows? I picked up some eye masks in Japan. These are kind of like, you know, it's like a material eye mask that you put over your face or over your eyes. And they heat up and I'm I'm so intrigued. These are yuzu scented, I believe, um, and they came in like lavender and like no scent and all that jazz. Um, but I'm intrigued by this like whole heating up the eye area. It just it's it's foreign to me, and I actually really like that. I love trying new shit. Anyway, apparently these heat up to 40 degrees Celsius. Sheet masks, yay! So, I didn't need to buy sheet masks in Japan. I have so many in my stash. Like, I could use a mask every single day for about half a year with what I've got. Um, so, didn't need to buy any. But I really fell in love with these, like, themed masks. So this one is A Nightmare Before Christmas and it's got a Jack mask in there and a Sally mask. I also picked up a Tom and Jerry mask. Oh my god, so cute. There was some like animal sheet masks for the face, so like animal prints. I also picked up a couple of Sailor Moon themed masks and also, oh my god, that is a gremlins mask right there. I am so fucking excited. Some other sheet masks that I picked up were a platinum and gold foil pack from Pure Smile and also a Moistful Collagen um, 
set from Etude House. I also grabbed a few like targeted masks. So I've got the Laugh Lines Care Patches because I really hate my Laugh Lines, like my Smile Lines. Oh my god, they drive me mad. Um, I picked up a nose and chin pack, under eyes from Etude House, and um, a lip area patch. Got cleansers coming out the wazoo, so let's get on to them. These are ones that I picked up from a particular brand called Senka. I think they're owned by Shiseido, like it's a drugstore brand under Shiseido. Dropping everything. Um, so I've got the Perfect Gel which is a face wash along with Perfect Whip and Perfect Double Wash. Again, both face washes. Another one that's a face wash is the Perfect White Clay, which I thought would be interesting. And then I picked up the Perfect Watery Oil. I also got a refill of this and I figured, you know, cleansing oils, I use them every day. So, um, yeah, not sad. Some more cleansing oils. Um, I picked one up from Muji. This is the oil cleanser. They do have two. I believe one is like a premium version, which is this one. Um, and then I picked up a little um, like four pack of the Shuamora cleansing oils. So there is a... Um, the Blanc Chroma, the Pore Finest, and the Antiox, and I think the other one is the Ultimate. The last few cleansers that I picked up include the Evita Beauty Whip Soap by Kanebo. So this is a foam cleanser, and when you pump it out, it comes out looking like a rose. I do love me some gimmicks. Um, and I also picked up the Suze Beauty Clear Powder. So these are little individual packets of face wash. It's a powder, you activate it with water and then you like rub it into your face. The last cleanser I picked up is the Etuze Jelly Mousse. So this is just a mousse cleanser. I don't know if it's good. I didn't research it before I bought it. I was just getting towards the end of my trip and I was like, God damn, I've got to like spend some of this Japanese yen. Otherwise I'm going to lose on converting it when I take it home. So I picked that up. It also came with what looks to be a, a sheet mask of some sort. So I'll give that a go. Let's get back into some makeup and I'm going to talk about eyeliners. So I picked up three from the One Day Tattoo brand. Um, they've got their like, you know, most popular seller and it was in limited edition Disney packaging. So it's, um, what's her name? Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And then I picked up um, the super black and the real strong black. Real strong. I picked up a Maybelline eyeliner. This is a Hyper Sharp liner. The reason I bought this was because I don't think I have seen this one in our stores before. Um, and it's meant to be 0.01 millimeter at the tip. So I thought, you know, let's give it a go. It might be something that we do have here that just has different packaging. Um, but Eyeliner. I go through a lot of it. It's fine. I also grabbed a Shuamora Calligraphink set. So there is a pen in there and then an ink refill. Um, and I also grabbed three liners. These are coloured liners from a brand called Love Liner. There was an aqua blue, an apricot brown, which is... I wouldn't say it's brown. It's more... Um, like an actual apricot color and then there is pink brown which is yeah it is it's a pink brown so it's pretty it's an interesting color I don't have anything quite like it and again I was just trying to spend money at this point while we're talking about eye products let's do mascaras and um, like lash glue so I picked up two lash glues from a brand called Dup or D up? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I got the black one and I got the like 
uh, traditional formula but in limited edition packaging. Cat apparently heard someone saying that like after they started using this they never went back to another brand so I thought it's worth giving a go. I picked up two mascaras. Um, one is from Maybelline. This is a full and rich with oil blend so I was a bit intrigued by that. And then I got the Kiss Me, I don't know, super waterproof. It's it's meant to be popular. It was voted number one, so I got it. I picked up some nail polishes in Japan, which I didn't expect to do because I typically use just gel polishes nowadays. Um, and normal nail polish, I just don't tend to gravitate towards. But something that I discovered in Japan is you can buy gel polish anywhere you can buy other beauty products, which is interesting because I feel like in Australia, um, we do have gel polish available like Priceline and stuff like that, but the quality is, it's not good. It's not good shit. Um, anyway, I spotted a couple of gel polishes. This is from a brand called Dear Laura and these colors were gorgeous and they were quite affordable so I thought you know what let's give them a go um, and wow I'm so glad I bought these. I'm currently wearing this antique color on my nails. I've had it on for over a week and I don't have any chipping and I don't have any lifting. Lifting is usually an issue for me with gel polish um, it can happen, you know, even just a few days after applying it, no matter how careful I am. So I want to explore this brand more. Um, I'm, yeah, I wow, really impressed with these and definitely want to add more to my collection. I also picked up some Marvala polishes. Um, and Marvala is probably one of my favorite traditional nail polish brands. You can get them in Australia, like it's stocked here, um, but they're surprisingly difficult to find and also they're expensive here in Australia. So um, I don't typically buy them unless I'm overseas. Pretty much my whole Marvala collection has come from overseas. Um, so I picked up the shade Ginza and Lagoon. Lagoon is like a dirty mint colour and Ginza is sort of a plum with like a gold reflect through it. I also picked up some glitter nail polishes from a brand called Space Beauty. Um, glitter nail polishes is where I pretty much buy traditional polishes nowadays. Um, I like to sponge them on and get that like intense glitter finish. So I picked up um, like a sort of grayish blue holographic finish, uh, a sort of berry pink glitter and also like a chunky spotty glitter with like pastel spots in it. Um, really cute polishes. I put a couple over um, my gel polish just to like play with them and see what I thought of them. Um, they don't dry as quickly as I would like but I don't hate them. I'll definitely use them um, and they're unique to anything that I have in my collection. Okay, more makeup, lip products. So I'll start with this one. It is from a brand called Riray. I believe that's how it's pronounced or it might be Riri. Anyway, it's a lip powder. Um, I picked it up in the color Sugar Rose, which is sort of a vibrant um, coral-ish pink. And basically this is a powder which becomes a liquid when you put it on your lips. So I'm kind of intrigued to have a little play with that. I've seen it, you know, on the internet and stuff. I've never used anything quite like it before. So that should be fun. I had a great time buying lip products at a chewed house, so I picked up six. I've got four of the Dear Darling tints. These are um, thinner in formula and they're a stain, so they go on glossy and eventually they sort of wear away and leave behind a stain on the lips. I think something that I'm really excited about is this yellow one, which um, changes to sort of a peachy pink shade. Um, it's just fun, a little bit of fun. 
and then I picked up two of the lip rich vivid tints these are more of a traditional liquid lipstick but they don't dry matte the next lip products I got were a Maybelline vivid matte liquid lipstick um, I don't think we have these here in Australia yet and this is just a beautiful winter shade nice and dark um, these don't dry matte. I had this on my hand for, I don't know, fucking 10, maybe 15 minutes and it was still not set. So they don't like dry matte, um, but beautiful color. Give it a go. And I also got a DHC lip cream. This is just a lip balm. Apparently these are quite popular. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Let's get through the last of the skincare products I've got. I picked up a Bior UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. This is SPF uh, 50 plus. Probably not quite that by Australian regulations, um, but that's all right. We'll give it a go. Apparently, this is quite good for people with oily skin. It doesn't leave like an oily residue on the skin, so I'm keen to try it out. If this is good. I might try and buy some of these online because I have major issues um, with like sunscreens that I actually like to wear under makeup. They typically break down my makeup so quickly or they break me out, which is even worse. Um, but I'll give it a go. It was quite affordable um, and they did have more in the range. So uh, I'm interested. Some more Etude House products I've got a bubble tea sleeping pack and this is this is so cute so it's a face cream and then in the bottom it's got little pearls that you can like dig out and pop and I assume they have some sort of serum or something in them that's meant to be good for your skin um, it's a night cream it's very cute it smells great I'm keen to play with this one uh, I also got a hand cream and the reason I bought this hand cream is because, fuck me, look at that packaging. Oh my god, it's so damn cute. Uh, it's a little seal and oh, it smells so good. It smells like fresh plants. I like it. Some more items that I picked up at Muji are the face lotion sheets. So these are like... They're little material sheets that you can soak with an essence or a serum or whatever you want and then you can put them under your eye or on your smile lines and also the face mask version. So they're like little tablets that you rehydrate with um, serum or whatever and then you put it over your face like a sheet mask. Something that I purchased that I really did not need to buy um, and there's only one reason why I did buy it. This is a steam cream, which is kind of a like a universal body product. So you can use it in your hair, on your face, on your body. Use it to remove makeup, whatever you want. Um, but I had to get it because it's got Beauty and the Beast packaging. And I fucking love Beauty and the Beast. I love it. It's like my go-to like movie when I'm feeling down and it always makes me happy so I I just I couldn't resist I could not resist okay almost at the end I've got just a few more makeup items to show you this is from the Macquillage Sailor Moon collaboration I tried very very hard to get the compact that the refill goes in honestly I I think it's really annoying that they even sold like the refill thing without the compact that just irks me um but it is what it is there's also the um the skin base in there which does have the limited edition packaging so the um compact packaging it looks very similar to the one that they currently are selling um, but the Sailor Moon one has stars moons and like little Sailor Moon symbols on it so got it I'm okay with it a little bit bummed out I couldn't get the actual compact but it is what it is can make cream blushes um, I figured I could not leave Japan without buying at least one of these I picked up two shades that I thought I would wear um, 
And look, I'm not really a cream blush kind of person. I'm currently in love with one of the ColourPop cream blushes. Um, but this is a slightly different formula. But I thought if I don't buy some to try, I will probably regret it. And I know, who knows? I might love them. Um, something else I picked up from Can Make was one of their powder blushes. This is like a really dark purple berry tone. Give that a go. And also a secret beauty powder. I believe this is kind of like a finishing powder or a blotting powder. So I'll play around with it. It was new in the store. Like there was a new sort of stand with this product and another one. And I thought, hell, let's give it a go. The last blush that I've got to show you is from Muji. It's just a nice orange shade, not super duper pigmented, which I quite like. Um, I get very heavy handed with blush. So the less pigmented it is, the better in my case. Um, but I definitely wanted to try out some Muji makeup. So that's what I chose from Muji. And I got a Kate Tokyo Quint. Kate was one of those brands that I knew was insanely popular. Um, they're meant to have really good products. I wasn't convinced when I was like playing with the products at the stand because the packaging felt kind of cheap and nasty. Um, don't be offended by that. It was, you know, it's like plastic and very light. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. And these prices are pretty steep. So um, I, I wasn't like really convinced by the brand but I figured I've got to at least try one thing so I picked up a little eyeshadow quint. The last products I have to show you are some eyeshadows. These are just singles. I think this brand is called Angel Heart and it's just like a metallic old gold eyeshadow. I also got four from Etude House. Um, these are the Look At My Eyes singles. I got three that are kind of like interesting color changing or color shifting shades and then a really beautiful um, like matte shade to use in my crease and we're done I actually feel cleansed my back hurts because I've been sitting here for so long but I feel cleansed I feel like I can put stuff away and start using stuff um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up feel free to let me know your thoughts on anything you saw in this video comment section is all yours as per usual and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>